apparitions and all the activity that has been happening in the house, it's a possibility that the spirits are trying to communicate through myself, my staff, or my guests of who really committed the murders so they can rest in peace, put the story to sleep for once and for all. Lizzie Borden has terrified generations of children who have heard tales of the librarian who was believed to have hacked her father and stepmother to death with an axe in 1892. A murder that created a sensation in the genteel Victorian era city of Fall River, Massachusetts. And the prime suspect in the case became an infamous American legend. Her name was Lizzie Borden. So often, hauntings are linked to tragic and unexpected deaths. One of the most startling cases of the 1800s and still disturbing in present day. It is the events that occurred on August 4 of 1892, the Borden murders. It was then considered the trial of the century, celebrated for its twists and turns yet horrifying in its details. In 1893, Lizzie Borden was tried for the gruesome double murder of her father and stepmother, Andrew and Abby Borden, both victims of multiple hatchet wounds to the skull. Abby Borden was murdered between the hours of 9 to 9.30 a.m. Mrs. Borden came in, started putting these pillow slips on, and somebody met her in this room. She had to have known this person. She didn't try to run. She didn't try to go over the bed or around the bed. And when this person was standing right here, she didn't even put her hands up for any defense wounds, but received 19 blows. The first one hit her a little above the left ear, which they figured that's what made her body stagger around and fall down to her knees. It was an awkward position. She could easily fell forward from that position or either push by the person behind her. And they figured with the lack of space, whoever had did this, must have straddled the body, grabbed it by the clothing, finished doing what they were doing, and left it like this. When Andrew returned home at 11 a.m., he was unaware that his wife upstairs laid slaughtered. Tired from his trip into town, Andrew laid down on the first floor sofa. Little did he know, he would never wait. Both Andrew and Abby Borden received 16 to 19 blows to the head. Despite the evidence pointing to Lizzie, she was acquitted of both murders. This evil deed has led this house in Fall River, Massachusetts to be one of the darkest haunts in all of New England. The Borden home is the scene of grisly unsolved murders, and it seems that the Borden family and the maid Bridget Sullivan are still in the residence. So far what I've gotten is knocks throughout the house. I also see shadows at the top of the side stairs leading into the master bedroom. I've also heard a female voice asking who's there and hello. That Ouija board over here in the corner was stolen about six months ago. It was taken by an overnight guest and as you can see it's back. I asked the owner about it, and she had said that it came back by FedEx with no return address, but with a note attached to it. What the note said was, please make it stop. Don't know what happened, but whatever it was had to have been pretty scary. 
What is it about Lizzie that so captures our imaginations? What is it that causes her to remain the subject of speculation nearly a century after the murders? Did Lizzie really kill her father and stepmother? It is the mystery of the murders that are so alluring since they remain unsolved. Over a century later, the boarding home serves as a bed and breakfast. You are invited to sleep in the room where Lucy slept or in the room where Abby Borden was found dead. It is a big question. A question we all want the answer of. Is there life after death? If you last until midnight. <laughs> <laughs>